do call you that often. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of energy going through me. Like arrows? Uh-huh. And Abraham, sometimes it feels too much, and I've learned to breathe through it, and sometimes I feel like I'm going to explode. But you won't. Are you sure? We are sure, but if it feels like it's too much, it is good to back off a little bit from the specifics of it because you've not only summoned it, but what's happening is when your desire is strong like yours is, but your vibrational practice could be improved, you summon it before you're ready for it and then it's a rougher ride for you. But wouldn't you so much rather, we would really rather you summon what you're not ready for than to just give up and not want to summon anything because it won't stay rough. It won't stay rough. You're not kidding when you say it's the energy that creates worlds going through us, like we're a vessel. Are we also the energy that creates worlds as well as the vessel? You're a vessel, but you're more than the vessel. You're the pointer. You're the decider. You're the creator. You are the attractor. You are the creator. I understand. My question is about self-will. Um, my favorite prayer and it gets me into the vortex so easily is the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Thy will be done. If there is thy will... Give us the rest of it. Or do you only get that far before you, get, <laughs> before you lose your mind? Before a different vibration sends an arrow through you? That... Maybe. Yeah, maybe, you think? maybe, maybe. Our because Father so who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, so what we got to figure out is who... Wait, 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 wait. We've got to figure out who thy is. Exactly, that's what I'm asking. And thine is. So we're going to tell you again. <laughs> you were that, came into this physical body, and still are that. And then this part of you explores and asks for more understanding, sends rockets of desire. That part of you who remained non-physically focused, then focuses upon thy will to be done and do it in the vortex. But then you've got to, thy has got to forgive yourself your trans... What are they? Gressions? Transgressions, that's a hard word for us to say. Transgressions? Trespasses. Trespasses. Ooh, I know. Ooh, that's worse. Yeah. <laughs> so... As thy, as this part of thy forgives, then you allow. Step one, ask. Step two, source answers what thy is asking for. Because there is no separation. And so when you are saying the Lord's Prayer, don't you think it's interesting that you sat down and said, Oh God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we said we call you that all the time. Yes. You well, do. you've got to accept that. It's a lovely thing to focus in that way. We just want you to understand really what's going on here. So say it again. Say our prayer again. Our prayer again. Our Father. Our Father. So what's that mean? Somebody with greater clarity. Who art where? Who art in heaven. Who art vibrationally in the ether somewhere. Hallowed be thy name. What's the name? I. Yeah. What's the name? The name is hallowed, but nobody spelled it out for any of you. In other words, it's a lot of different names, isn't it? It's a lot of different names. We're not being sacrilegious and we're not being defiant of those deep beliefs that people hold. We just want you to understand that you are pure positive energy and you are an extension of that. And when you don't understand that you're an extension and that you've come with reason and value, then your life naturally causes you to ask for all kinds of things. But because you're stuck on that, 
who gets to do the forgiveness or who needs to do the forgiveness. Do you know what? We've never forgiven anyone for anything. And you know why? Why? We never got out of sync, so we never had to go back to that. And that which you are calling God has not either. So who do you think has to do the forgiving? The only ones that have strayed from it to begin with, and that's thy, thys. You see, that might help. So what was it you wanted to talk about? We don't want to burst any bubbles. We think it's wonderful that you feel reverence for who you are and why you've come and for the whole of who you are and for the value that you are and for the love that is inherently you and for the expansion that must be and for the more that you are about and for the very reason for your physical existence. It's lovely to feel reverence and resonance with all of that. And that really truly is where satisfaction comes from. If you don't find that balance, then you can't be happy. And if you're not happy, thy will's not being done. So, um, there's a board exam that I've been trying to pass. Oh, I so there's that desire. <laughs> you see it? She was being really cool about it. Not even wanting to really admit it. You see what we're getting at? Strong, 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 strong desire. That'll take you a long way. So what's going on? So I've studied, I've put in a lot of time, investment, and energy into trying to pass a board exam, and I can't pass it. I've done it four times, and every time I go, I do worse. Well, that's kind of logical, because when you want something and it doesn't go the way you want it to, it not going the way you want it to sometimes picks up some momentum. So then it, the next time it's a little worse, and the next time it's a little worse. So it's not hard to turn that around. It takes a sort of understanding of why it's not turning around though and it's because you get what you're thinking about so that's all that you can think about I can't do this thing I want to do I can't do this thing I want to do this thing I want to do is too hard I really really want it but I can't do it did you find yourself feeling a little more comfortable in other words were you surprised when you didn't pass it or did you not think you were going to the whole time that you were taking the exam no I um, I've done you know I feel like I've you know worked on myself I think yes so and what was it like when you were actually taking the exam the last time what was the feeling while you were doing it yeah I, I felt like it was easy I felt like I knew what I was doing all right so what that means is this study is paying off and you are getting it and those exams they are so tricky because they're wanting to trip you up those exams often require something far more than just memorization they require intuition about what the trick is and so now you've had a little more experience and we like do you like the feeling that you had that I know this answer and I know this answer yes and did you have any of those answers that you knew that you knew what you were talking about that it was just worded in a way that you didn't understand yes and I felt like I, I felt that I did really well and I, I was just surprised that I did and it just... all right that's what you want to emphasize because is there a limit to how many times you can take it no you have five years my my next year will be the, the and so year. if every time you take it you learn the last trick that they did and the last trick that they did don't you think pretty soon that you're gonna know all their tricks what do you think is the trickiest thing we're not kidding about this what answer did you get wrong that surprised you the most well they don't let you know the you don't get the same test yeah. every time you go it's a, yeah. it's a different test yeah. but we're asking do they let you know which ones you got right and which ones you got wrong right the categories yes tell us what you really thought you knew your stuff but that it didn't go the way you wanted it to can you recall that right well I kind of didn't look at this last one I think it was um, in assessments and interventions but don't you want to know what it is that you wanting to study a little bit or tweak are the categories all the way across the board or is it one particular area that right they, they split it in four categories and in those categories there's different topics and um, right then it shows you which one was the worst and I believe it was yeah there was one that was worse and then there's the second third and then the 
the fourth. It's not even about the category because if you did well in other categories, it's just about meeting that, that score or passing the well, score. Well, more important than the test, and we know it feels like the test, the passing of the board is what matters so much to you, but are you gaining any knowledge? Yes, I feel that I have. So isn't that what the whole thing is all about anyway? Yes, but I don't understand why I've done this four times. Well, and does, it's, it it's really does. Me. It's, it's exhausting. Well, it's exhausting because you're pushing against not getting... You see, the reason that we really like this discussion is because everyone in this room, everyone that we've ever visited with, have things that they are going for that aren't panning out in some cases and they don't know why. But along the way to them not panning out, they're still gathering, they're still becoming more, they're still gaining clarity, there is still advantage. There's something about testing yourself and we know in this physical world it's a requirement all over the place. They want to test you and measure you against other things but if instead of it feeling like something that causes you to fail or not do well, if you could instead see it as a catalyst that is calling you to more knowledge. Esther is currently being audited for the year 2019 by the IRS. And so at first Esther thought, I'm just going to kill myself. <laughs> because it's really a lot of information. And it's like they've decided that they just want to spend a lot of time with Esther because she's fun or something like that. Because one thing leads to another thing, leads to another thing, leads to another thing, and it's all all right. Except that it's taking time that Esther doesn't want to give it. Except that, oh, she knows things she didn't know before. And she's not finding a lot of mistakes, but she has found many ways that she's going to approach things differently just for her own ease. And she was thinking the other day, because it still isn't finished. In other words, it's like they stir it all up and then they go on vacation and sleep for a long, long time. <laughs> and then they stir it all up and then they go on another vacation and sleep for a long, long time. And meanwhile, Esther's thinking, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, because I've got it all lined up and I've got it all. Okay, I'll ship you another box of everything. Okay, I'll ship you another box of everything. And when she got over her feeling of injustice, and started focusing on the positive aspects of it. She's really engaged with this. She is so much smarter than she used to be. And all kinds of new ideas are coming to her about the way to approach things and about the way to present things and the way to explain things. And it has been life-giving, really. We know that sounds ridiculous. I'm being audited by the IRS and it is so much fun. <laughs> But expansion is expansion is expansion is expansion is expansion. And so when something sends you down one rabbit hole that doesn't feel good, and then you're able to process it into something that feels better, and then you get an obvious for yourself win out of it, a win that you would not have had if you have not had that experience. We promise you, you will pass this thing. You will get into a place where what you've learned will be of great knowledge to you. Because you get to have whatever you want. There is no one, not even the IRS, conspiring against you. They're blood-sucking monsters. No. <laughs> Nothing is conspiring against you. Everything is conspiring for you. The universe is conspiring for you. And sometimes it's easier to believe the other. It's easier to believe that somebody must be conspiring against me or I'm inadequate in some way. And that's just not true. That's just not true. Okay. Something else? Huh? Anything else? If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next